we present the first case of pediatric anterior uveitis in a child with COVID-19 infection. A 12-year-old boy with no prior medical history or medication use presented with high fever of unknown origin for six days, malaise, strawberry tongue, macular exanthema of the skin, conjunctival hyperemia, and abdominal pain. Blood tests showed elevated C-reactive protein, liver enzymes, troponin, anti-pro-BMP, ferritin, a low albumin, and a coagulopathy. At time of referral, the SARS-CoV-2 PCR testing of the nasopharynx and throat were negative. Abdominal ultrasound showed an enlarged liver and spleen. The extorax, cardiac ultrasound, and ECG were normal. He was transferred to the pediatric intensive care unit because of tachypnea, shock, and reduced response, and successfully treated with volume expansion, vasoactive agents, immunoglobulins, ceftriaxone, and methylprednisone. On day 7, he was referred to the ophthalmology department because of complaints of decreased visual acuity and photophobia. At presentation, he had normal visual acuity and eye pressure. On slit lamp examination, we found a mild anterior chamber reaction without flare, conjunctival hyperemia without discharge, and no further signs of vitreous inflammation. No optic nerve, retinal, or vascular abnormalities were seen. The ophthalmic diagnosis was a mild anterior uveitis, and he was treated with prednisolone eye drops once a day for 10 days. Additional blood tests were positive for SARS-CoV-2 antibodies, leading to the definitive diagnosis of pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome temporally related to the SARS-CoV-2. This is the first pediatric patient with bilateral anterior uveitis secondary to a COVID-19 infection described in the literature. The only ocular symptom in children with COVID-19 infection described so far is conjunctivitis. So why is ophthalmic examination important in COVID-19 infected children with ocular symptoms? Immediate recognition and treatment of anterior uveitis is important due to possible ocular complications. These complications include posterior synechiae, band keratopathy, rise in intraocular pressure leading to glaucoma, cataract, and cystoid macular edema. These complications could lead to permanent visual impairment or blindness.